Hey everyone, it's Lil Kevin, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to two-tick woodcut teak trees for some of the fastest experience in game. I'll be using the teak trees in Prif, as this is the best location if you have access to it. It is close to a bank, easily accessible with the spirit tree, POH portal, or teleport crystal, and you obtain crystal shards, which can be used for various crystal items. If you don't have Prif unlocked, then the next best option is going to be Apatol. For gear, I highly recommend getting the Lumberjack outfit if you don't already have it. It grants a 2.5% XP boost per log cut and takes less than an hour to obtain from the Temple Trekking minigame. In your weapon slot, you want to equip a short bow and make sure it's set to rapid but with no arrows equipped. Any other slot should be filled with your desired fashion scape. In your inventory, you're going to want to have runes to either cast Weaken, Confuse, or Curse as these spells will not damage the rabbits when you attack them, but they will gain their aggro. Lastly, you'll want your best axe available. If you have some spirit cash, I recommend getting an infernal axe since this has a 1 in 3 chance of burning the logs as you cut them. This means you won't have to drop logs as often, making the process just a bit less tedious, and you'll also get some bonus fire making XP. Alright, so let's get into how to set up the 2 tick. This is the spot that we're going to be standing on because it's in between the two teak trees. So when one teak goes down, we'll just chop the other one. So we'll cast their spell on both of the rabbits to get their aggro. Then we'll walk over to the spot and try to get them in a line, So only, but only one of them attacking us. We'll walk to this spot over here, so they're still in a line like that. And so you see this rabbit is attacking us and what we're going to do is, once we see one hit splat, walk under the rabbit, and then the other rabbit should immediately start attacking us. And there you go. So then the other rabbit underneath us will eventually walk out. This doesn't work 100% of the time, but this one looks like it's good. We have their attacks timed so that there's actually one game tick in between each of their attacks, and that game tick is when we're going to actually be chopping the teak logs. So you have auto retaliate on, your guy wants to attack them, but you don't have any aim in your quiver, so you won't actually do any damage. So when your character goes to auto-retaliate is when you want to click on the teak tree, and then immediately click off of the teak tree so that you cancel the animation. So things you can do to do that are just pretty much tell your character to walk on that spot. Your character won't move, but it'll cancel the woodcutting. You can drop the logs. Or you can do another one tick action like fletching darts if you want to get some extra experience on other skills. Sometimes you'll mess up, you just gotta cancel the wood cutting and let the auto retaliate get you back into the cycle. And as long as the rabbits are are on tick like this, you can chop away and get some pretty good wood cutting experience. So to give you an idea of what the timing looks like when it's not right, here's the first one that's incorrect, and these rabbits are attacking on back-to-back -back game ticks, which means there's no tick in between the attacks for you to chop the wood. So that's when you want to try and reset them with the method I showed earlier in the video. And then here's an example of when they're on the exact same game tick. Again, won't exactly work for this method. So just kind of trying to walk around, do the same thing I showed earlier, which I'll demonstrate again here. Get him in line, and then you're going to walk under that rabbit that's attacking you in between the trees. And then it should have the other rabbit attack you, and then that first rabbit gets under you, and there you go. You're back in the cycle. So for the XP rates at level 80, which this character is at, I was getting around 150k woodcutting, and with the Infernal Axe, I was actually getting about 25 to 30k fire making XP per hour. But obviously those rates will differ based on your gear and levels, and as well as how focused you are. So anyways, that's it for this guide. Hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions about this method in particular, or request for any future videos, just let me know in the comments below. Have a good one, everybody.